Our system has three major parts, an opinion flow view, a stacked topic tree view, and a list view. In the opinion flow view, every strip represents a topic. The direction from left to right encodes the time. The width of a strip visually encodes the number of users discussing the topic. Red means negative opinions, and green means positive opinions. The darker the colors, the stronger the opinions of the users. We can search for topics by typing keywords into the search bar. Related topics are highlighted in the stacked tree view. We can click a tree node to see all the subtopics of the corresponding topic. The opinion flow view on the right will be updated automatically. We can also use the timeline to zoom into a time range or zoom out. When we select a region in the opinion flow view, the related tweets or users are shown in the list view on the right. Selecting a user in the list view will show the history path of the user in the opinion flow view. We can also search for a user account above the user list. Hovering over a user node on the history path will show the tweets posted by the user at that time. When we select the node, the opinion diffusion path will be displayed so that we can track the influence path of the user. Next, we will demonstrate the system using Twitter data on the topic of the NSA's PRISM program. Topics related to this have been heavily discussed by a huge number of users for a long period of time. Therefore, we can use the data to analyze and explore the diffusion of opinions on Twitter. The system can provide a quick visual summary of related topics and opinions regarding the PRISM program. We can see there were five major topics, including the topic of legal issues, the topic of the NSA's surveillance program, the topic of Snowden's asylum, the general topic of Snowden, and the topic of the public's privacy concerns. Two topics were prominent in June when Snowden disclosed the existence of the PRISM program to the public. Many users switched their focus from the Snowden topic to the asylum topic because Snowden left Hong Kong for Moscow and sought asylum there. The opinion flow view also shows that most users held negative opinions of PRISM. An analyst can select any region in the view to see the tweets in the tweet list view on the right. However, there were two green regions in spying. After reading some tweets, we found that the users actually showed their support for two anti-PRISM rallies. Next, we are going to show how our system can help explore and trace opinion diffusion patterns. We can immediately see that opinions flow from the center to the top and bottom inside each topic strip. Please note, that more influential users are placed in the center of the topic strip. Thus, this pattern indicates that opinions tend to flow from influential users to other users. To understand how opinion diffusion is related to the strength of opinions and the authority of users, we selected two representative users. One was a popular media account, Fox News. The other was an individual account. We found that Fox News when it had a stronger opinion, influenced more people. A weaker opinion influences fewer users. In contrast, the individual user exerted less influence even though he had a strong opinion. With a weak opinion, his influence was almost ignored. Next, we analyze opinion diffusion within user flow. Many users transition from the Snowden topic to the Asylum topic. We selected the transition flow and found that these users expressed more positive opinions. We used a Twitter dataset regarding an IT company in the second case study to demonstrate the prediction feature of our system. We first expanded the major topic of Xbox and filtered out the smaller topic. We found that conflicting opinions emerged in late May after the Xbox press conference. 
Let's take a closer look at opinion diffusion at E3. User opinions changed quickly. Due to the higher price and DRM policy, user interest in the topic declined. Many people focused on the topic again on June 19th. Let's zoom in to explore the pattern. Although Microsoft rescinded the DRM policy, most people still had negative opinions. There were lots of negative opinions with regards to the topic. What would happen if the company had taken quick action to turn the early negative opinions into positive opinions? We surmise the company would have successfully influenced user opinion at an early stage. We used a pop-up window to modify the opinions and then applied the prediction. It is clear that public opinion would have become more positive. Thanks for watching.